there, it's me, Kimberly. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to make a quickie five minute header for your website. I love fun text-based headers because you can use them and they don't take up a lot of space and they have a good amount of impact when people see them. I mean, look how cute that is. So we're gonna go ahead and do this in Adobe Illustrator. I'm using the Creative Cloud version, 2014 version. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. So here's where I'm at right now, and I've got this header right here already. But what I want you to do is open up a second tab in your browser so you can follow right along with me as we recreate this look. So super important, first things first, you're going to do File, New, and you're going to make it the size you want your header to be. I use Headway Themes, and Headway Themes, the default minimum size header is 940 pixels by 130. So whatever size your website needs it to be, you can Google if you don't know based on your theme, but you're just going to type in the sizing, the width and the height right there and hit OK. And this is going to make you a new artboard. Yay! Step number one, done. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit the type tool, which is over here in the corner. Now, if you don't see these things down the sides like me, you're going to go to window and make sure that you've got application bar checked, control checked, and then hover over tools and make sure default is checked. PCs and Macs can be a little different sometimes in Adobe Illustrator, so just know that I am using a Mac. So if you don't see something, you can just click that window button and find it there. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to click the Type tool, and you can click anywhere on your screen. It doesn't matter where. And I'm just using Helvetica because everyone that knows me knows that Helvetica is my favorite font. If you're on a PC, a great font to use is Arial because Helvetica is just for Macs. So you can try Arial, and it'll give you the same kind of look. And I don't believe in fussing around with tons of trying to figure out what font to use. Just Pick Helvetica or Arial if you don't know what font you want to use. And then that way, at least you've got a font that's got a lot of great options for different styling, and you've got a good, easy-to-read font. Nine times out of ten, easy-to-read beats cutesy and, and um, hooted up any day. So you want to think about that when you're designing your website and building your headers. Keep it easy for your people to figure out what's going on, and Helvetica or Arial will do that for you. Next, we're going to choose the size, and you can either choose a pre-done size over here, or you can just click on the box and type it in. I'm going to use 70 pixels, because that's usually pretty good for this kind of header. Next, you're going to type in the words. So I'm going to type in right now. There we go. So you just type the words right on the screen. After you've typed the words, they're going to be kind of all over the place depending on where you chose to put your text tool. So you're just going to click this selection tool right here. And once you do that, you're going to center your font. So you're going to go align center. You're going to go horizontal align center and vertical align center. Then you're going to need to get your grid back in line with everything else. So you can go to view and fit all in window. And then voila, it's back where it's supposed to be. I need to actually just make this go up a little bit and then I can get to my little pointers and I won't have to do that. There we go. So you have little sliders at the bottom and on the side too. So if you've got your window sized right, it'll be perfect. Alrighty, so here we go. Black is great if you're not sure what color you want to use because the goal here is to get this done so that you can see how this process works and feel confident in making your own headers. So choose black if you're not sure about what color, but you can also click here and um, click on this drop down and you'll get a preset group of fun colors to experiment and play around with. This red is one of my favorite reds, by the way. But for right now, I'm going to show you also how to put in your own six-digit HTML color. So you just click on this fill box right here, and you can put in your color right inside this box by the pound sign. So now that will turn it to my favorite shade of pink. Yay! <laughs> so also, for moving stuff around, you can left-click and drag, and it'll move things up out of your way. Now we're going to go ahead and make a tagline for our header, because what header would be great without a tagline, right? So I'm going to click the Type tool again, click on my screen. Helvetica is going to come up by default, and I'm going to make this one smaller, so maybe about 36 pixels. And now I'm going to go ahead and type what I want my tagline to say. All right, sweet. So now I'm going to click my Selection tool, make sure it's centered, 
make sure I click horizontal align center and vertical align center. So now they're fitting top to bottom on top of each other, but you can just left click and drag to move it out of the way and put it in a spot that feels right to you. You can also adjust your size if the, um, if the letters are too big or too small. And then last, you wanna add a color to this one too. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here and I'm gonna add my favorite shade of orange which is F15A29, and voila, now I've got a pink and orange header. But the other fun thing about this is you can play around with the parts of the words to make some words stand out more than others. So right now I'm gonna make courses stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna click my type tool, hover till I see a line under the word courses, then I'm gonna left click and drag to highlight the word courses. Next, I'm gonna go right over here to the font style and I'm gonna choose bold oblique. That's gonna make it really pop and stand out. Then you can just click your selection tool or click anywhere on the gray and it'll go away. So there we have it. We've now got regular font with oblique bold font and we've got our tagline. The last thing is to double check and make sure that the whole thing is centered top to bottom because every once in a while things will get a little off. So the quickest way to center everything at once is to go to select all or you can just left click and drag to make a box around everything and then you're going to do object group. And once you do object group, it's going to lock those two together, which is why it's so important that you've been centering them all along. But now all we have to do is center horizontally, center vertically. And ta-da! Now we have got the perfect header for our website. Last thing is to go ahead and save it. I like to do file, save as, and save this as an Adobe Illustrator file first. That way if you ever want to change it, you can easily come back to it and make changes to it later on. So we're going to go ahead and find the file that we want to save it to. And give it a name. I like to name my headers header. That way I always can find them on my website, I mean on my computer. So now I'm just going to name that header. And now I'm going to save it as a JPEG file too. You can save it as a JPEG if you want the white background to show, but if you want the background to be transparent, say there's going to be blue or green or some other color behind it that you want just the words to show, you can save it as a ping file. So here we go. We're going to do file, save for web, and I'm saving this one as a JPEG, but here's where you would go if you want to save it as a ping. Make sure transparency is checked with ping so it makes the grid where it's going to be clear in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to JPEG and then I'm just going to hit the save button and I'm going to give it the same name. That way it's always going to be just right and you'll be able to find it. So there you have it. That's how you make a, a header image in Adobe Illustrator with text. Thanks. Bye.